Morning guys, happy 2023. This is my first vlog in a while and my first vlog of the new year. I hope you guys have had an amazing break. I hope you guys had a good Christmas period. I am so excited for this year. I'm feeling super motivated. There's a lot of really, really great things happening. I just have a really, really good feeling about this year and I really just can't wait to take you guys on the journey of this year and yeah, another year together. I can't believe I've been doing social media for work for like five years now. This is my fifth year. I'm coming to you guys with wet hair today because I just had a shower and I put keratin in it before. Just giving it like 10 minutes to settle in before I start blow drying my hair. But in the meantime, I'm gonna put away everything in my dishwasher and finish cleaning these. So yeah, we're gonna be doing a little bit of a fast forward moment. I know you guys love that. Also, I literally have the worst, most painful ulcer in my mouth. I actually have two because I bit my lip like four times in one day and it was just like bleeding and I was like, I just know this is going to turn into an ulcer. So I literally have like a bite mark ulcer. And when you just like bite your lip and then you keep biting it because it's like inflamed for the rest of the day, that's literally what happened to me. And I've had the worst time eating food the last few days because I've just been in so much pain but hopefully it'll be gone in a couple days i'm actually gonna go to the shops today and try and find something at the chemist i know you can use like bonjella but i feel like that doesn't really help heal it it just kind of numbs the pain for a bit <laughs> I'm just gonna blow dry my hair now. I'll put all my products in. Um, I've been using this Karastas, how do you say it? Client Thermique Thermo Seal. It's blow dry care for damaged hair. So it's basically just like a heat protectant. And then I'm just taking my Sexy Hair Beat Altitude Blow Dry Mousse. This just gives it a bit of volume. <laughs> Alrighty guys, my hair is all done now. If you guys didn't notice, I actually got my hair cut just before Christmas. James's sister Tash actually did it for me. So it's way shorter now, but it honestly looks way better. Like the layers just make it look so much more natural. I've been putting rollers in more now. And I don't know, I feel like it just looks way healthier and way nicer this way. I've actually got two packages here from White Fox that I'm going to show you guys. I'm just going to unbox everything and try everything on in the mirror. I mostly want to see what's in this package because I want to see if there's something I could wear for dinner with the girls tomorrow night when I go. I'm really excited to open that up. It's very heavy. And then I've also got this small one here, which I have no idea what's in there. My lip is absolutely killing me right now. Got a big bag of stuff in here. How cute. This is a um, holiday packaging. I actually haven't seen this yet. I haven't gotten a package from them in ages, probably since like the start of December. How cute. There is so much stuff that I have to get through. So I'll just, I guess, show you guys everything. This is the first dress that I picked out. Also, I just had to turn my light on because it's so dark. This one is gonna have to be a pass for me. I did go size up because I wanted this part to fully cover my boobs and it doesn't. And it's just not really my vibe to have on the boob out, especially not in public. So this one is unfortunately gonna have to be a pass. I know that is kind of like meant to be the look and that is what it's meant to look like. If this kind of thing is your vibe though, definitely get it because the quality of this is actually really, really good. The material of the dress is nice and thick and it fits really nicely as well. This dress right here, I actually sized up in, which now that I have it on, I wish I didn't. I wish I just kept it as an extra small because it is actually quite loose on me like if it was that tight on me that would look way better so if you're thinking of sizing up with this one definitely just stick to your usual size this is the detail of the top close up i love 
the detailing around the neckline. Tell me this isn't the perfect date night dress. Guys, this next dress here is stunning. As you guys can see, it does twist on the side here and it also twists on the top um, strap as well, but it's just like a plain little dress. It's like a slinky material, so flattering. It's definitely one of those things you can kind of like dress up or dress down. Wow, guys, next up, I've got this black denim skirt set right here i do kind of wish that i sized up in the skirt i got an extra small i do wish that i got a small in this just so it kind of sit a little bit lower on my waist but it's still fine like it still fits i might still get the small anyway though just because i feel like it would look a lot nicer but i did size up in the top and it fits me perfectly so i got a small in this i did actually have this top in the white and i remembered that it was way too tight on me in the extra small so I made sure that I sized up in it in the black, but this is such a hot little outfit, even with like some knee high boots, even though it is too hot for that. Now coming close, you guys can see the detail of the front of the top here. Next up, I got this corset right here, which has kind of like boning detailing at the front. If you guys can see, let me just like twist this more towards me. There we go. Yeah, as you guys can see, it has that kind of like structured detailing on the front and it just comes down and covers your belly button at the front. Again, I sized up to a small in this one and I'm definitely glad that I did. I feel like if I got an extra small, my boobs just would have been like way too in your face. This plain little black tank top, super simple, just a nice basic to have. It's so stretchy though. And the material is really nice and thick. So yeah, I got that a bit boring, but I got it in an extra small in case anyone's wondering. Okay, I'm really not too sure what's wrong with me this order, but I've literally got like the wrong sizes and everything. So I up in these pants to a small and I should have just left it as a extra small because now I feel like it's so obvious that they're like way too loose on me. And also they're meant to sit up like here. So I'm going to return these for an extra small. And then the top I got in an extra small, which it actually looks not that bad. But because it is a little bit too tight for me around the boob area, I have had to like separate it a little bit more here. And I don't know if I like the amount of separation in there. This outfit, if I got the right sizes, would actually look so freaking cute. And I 100% would have worn it tomorrow night. But I'm just all over the place, you guys. I must still be in holiday mode because I'm not really too sure what's going on with me love a cute matching denim set like there's honestly nothing better this with heels and a cute bag and my hair slicked back would just look so cute all right i have to cover my nipples right now because the high beams are definitely on but this is the next little dress that i picked up i just loved the color of this it's such a hot dress the style is very in i'm really not sure why my nips are on high beam mode but high beam mode high beam mode what i'm really not sure why my nipples are on high beam mode at the moment so i'm just gonna have to keep covering them and it's just like another basic i might actually wear this one today but it's just like a low back as well which i thought was really cute how nice does that look and then i also actually got these shorts as well just nice gray comfy Shorts to just wear around the house, wear to the movies, that kind of vibe. It says, what does it say here? White Fox Sport on the front. I also got the matching um, little sweatshirt to go with that as well. But I'm not going to try that on because it's literally so hot in my apartment right now. I might actually faint if I try and put it on. But yeah, again, it says White Fox Sport on the front. I just like having stuff like this to wear, um, you know, last minute if I'm going to the movies or something. I got this top right here. This is so cute. So nice and girly. This would be perfect for Europe with like a long maxi low waist skirt. I love like the lace detailing around the inside. I did size up to a size small in this one, and I'm glad I did. I've actually still got a little bit of room, but that's fine. More room for pasta when I go to Europe, doll. In summary, since I'm basically not all there, apparently, um, I still have no idea what I'm going to wear tomorrow night. I am going to get changed for the day. It is almost midday. I think it is actually midday by now. And I feel like I've done nothing. I've actually got a bit to do. I need to go to the warehouse as well. So I need to get a wriggle on because the day is just... It's just going by so quick. I'm just going to make myself a little protein smoothie now because I am starving and I don't have... Actually, no, I do have food at home. I have, like, my chef good meals, but I don't feel like eating a proper meal right now and I'm really craving a smoothie, so... Um, all right, that's going to be a problem. These are all stuck together. That is so cold. And 
that did nothing. making my usual protein smoothie that I like to make. You guys have probably seen me make this 500 times now at least, but it's just my go-to. So easy, so yummy. Can't really get around, can you? Oh my god, that's like an acai bowl. That's so thick. Guys, this is elite. This is probably... This has to be one of the best smoothies I've ever made. Delicious. Alrighty guys, it's very bright right now, but I just got to the warehouse. I'm gonna have a look at the new stock that just arrived for me. Finally, thank God. There's a real one. mine right now. I am looking for a new bed linen set and also some new like flat sheets and fitted sheets. So, so that's kind of what we're doing right now. What are these? Double quilt cover. How much is that? Hmm. Got my um, sheet covers there behind the counter. I'm just having a look at the kitchen section now because I've actually got heaps of stuff here. And I've got heaps of plates and stuff over there as well. I don't really really need anything. I'm just kind of having a look to be honest. I'm in pillow talk now and these are probably so much nicer and way cheaper. I love this thing. I'm back home from all of my errands now. As you guys saw, I did go to Bed Bath & Table and I picked up some new, um, like a fitted sheet set. And then I was also looking for a quilt cover, but I'm glad I didn't get one from there because they were all very pricey. And then I went into Pillow Talk at Pack Fair, which I don't know why I didn't get bamboo cotton sheets from there because I feel like their stuff's way more affordable. But I did get a Duna set, which was literally only like $40. Pretty much just wanted like a lighter Duna set for summer because James gets really, really hot in the night and it's not pleasant to sleep with at all, like even with the aircon on. So I'll show you guys that in a second. I'll show you guys everything else that I got as well. I picked up some packages from Amazon. I got a click and collect order from Kmart, which I'll show you guys and a few other random things as well. I also got a new book. I put in a chef good meal into my microwave. It's the chicken enchilada bake. This is actually new. So I'm excited to try this one. Only really 389 cows in this one meal, which is great. I'm just gonna plate this up and show you guys how it looks. It's really hot. I'm gonna need two hands of this job, otherwise I'm gonna it. Oh, God, they just flopped out the wrong way. I kind of plopped it upside down, so it doesn't look that appealing, but it was nice and cheesy on the other side. It still didn't really look that appealing anyway, but let's give it a little taste test. Mmm. Oh, that's hurting my ulcer because it's spicy. Mmm. It's actually really good though. I'm just going to finish this while it's really hurting my ulcer bad. Like really bad. I need to put some cream on it. I'll be back. A little bit of a change of plan. I actually ended up napping for a bit after I ate my food. A bit. Two hours. So since I got back from the Philippines, my sleeping schedule has just been all 
all over the place. But anyways, we are moving forward. I'll probably end up staying up a little bit later tonight. And also, you know when you like wake up from a nap and you just feel sick? Even if I don't eat much, I swear, when I wake up from a nap after just eating right before it, I literally feel so sick like i feel like i've eaten so much food when i haven't really eaten that much so i'm gonna get my light because i want to show you guys um like what i got at the shops today as promised and also the amazon packages that i got because tiktok has basically sold me on so much stuff people actually ask me what like ring light i use this actually isn't a ring light i got this because i felt like it looks a little bit cleaner than a ring light i don't know ring light is just like random so i got two of these by the brand newer and I don't know what it's called, but just look up LED video light and it should come up on Amazon. Okay, this is so annoying that guys can't see my face, but um, we'll start off with pillow talk because I already kind of showed you guys before what I got. But can you guys believe this is only like 40 bucks? I think it was 40, 50 dollars. It was on sale, but this is what it looks like here. You guys can see I'll open it up and show you guys a little bit better it's called the Greta quilt cover set they had heaps they also had a really nice linen one but linen just doesn't really match the vibes of my house even though I love everything linen at the moment so that's all coming out but as you guys can see it's like a little bit textured but it's really really light the material so I think that'll be perfect for the summertime I can't believe I didn't get like a summer Quilt cover set sooner because it gets so hot in summer here, okay? The next thing in this bag is actually a book. I saw this when I was walking past a bookstore and I was like, oh my god, I need to get that. So it's called It Starts With Us by Colleen Hoover, which is literally Colleen Hoover is just like basic bitch guide to reading pretty much but i love her books i actually genuinely do this is 33 dollars, and it is the sequel to it ends with us so i'm really 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 excited to read this and i actually haven't really seen anyone like talk about that but i'm still really excited to read it anyways and then i popped in a kmart and i'll show you guys what i bought in store first and then i'll show you guys what i got for click and collect while i was there but I just got some pens. I got this cute little pen right here. Kmart's so cheap. I think for these three things, it was like 10 bucks, not even. Um, and then I also got this sticker book, which comes with 350 stickers. And you pretty much just like put it in your diary. So as you guys can see, it says like, don't forget to enjoy the little things, weekly goals, today's goals, bucket list, travel list um do what they think you can't do anyways there's just like a bunch of fun little stickers that you can take out and put in your diary this one's really cool so there's heaps of like tomorrow study study relax today meal prep eat out cook blah blah, blah. so you can really just um have fun with your diaries with these stickers so i got that and it was super cheap too i got this diary which i saw literally all over tiktok so i wanted to make sure i got it on click and collect um because i was scared that it was going to sell out before i got there but this is the diary here first look i actually haven't seen this in person yet but it says 2023 in the front it's like a the cover is actually really nice quality it's like a pink leather this is only ten dollars guys ten dollars for a yearly planner you've got like a goal plan here and the whole front section of the book is basically like for your goals i think you can put expenses at the start of every month and then you can also flip straight to each month which i think is great this is just like the best little planner ever also got a dinner plan on this side which is great very happy with this purchase it's literally been viral so if you can get your hands on it definitely do like ten dollars for a planner that's actually really good quality is amazing then at bed bath and table which you guys saw i went to first i just got this is so boring but i just got some new bamboo cotton fitted sheets i feel like everyone knows that alex earl has been trending all over tiktok i actually don't even follow her but I see everyone else's videos about her. And anyways, I saw someone say that she posted this light. Well, actually not this light in particular, but I think the one she was talking about was um, actually sold out on Amazon. But I found the newer version and that's actually the same brand as my lights. I'll go close up so you guys can screenshot this. Um, but it's basically like a phone LED light and you clip it onto your phone or wherever really. 
Oh, fuck, I've got to build it. I wonder if it has batteries in it already. This is kind of what it looks like when it's all built. So as you guys can see, there's like a little clip and you clip it on your phone. I'll obviously keep you guys updated on that. I am sweating right now. I need to put my air con on. And this light on in front of me is not helping whatsoever. And next up is another trending thing on TikTok at the moment. It's this hair oil by the brand Miel. And it's just rosemary hair oil. I do have rosemary hair oil at home, but mine doesn't have a dropper, so it's really annoying. Rosemary, mint, scalp, and hair strengthening oil. Infused with biotin and encourages growth. So I'm excited that I finally have this. I'll keep you guys updated on how that works. Alrighty guys, so I'm just editing this vlog now. I was going to do my diary tonight, but I'm honestly, I feel like I need to be on my A game to like write down all of my goals and stuff properly. So I'm going to do that on Monday um, for next week's vlog. I'm just having some Lebo bread right now with ham and cheese. So good. It's literally like almost 10 p.m. and my hair's a mess. But I'm going to close out today's vlog now. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. Just a super chilled one. I just wanted to get one up for you guys. Oh, I really don't know why I'm eating and talking at the same time. I'm trying to film an outro. But anyways, I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.